Uh, this is our noon broadcast, and we are on the set with a very special guest. We have Ed Boone, co-creator of Mortal Kombat. He's going to be showing us uh, Mortal Kombat Deception. A lot of you have stopped by. We've had people coming by all day yesterday, people coming by today and telling us that it's one of the most exciting games they've seen on the show floor. So... Um, Congratulations. Everyone's looking forward to it. Thank you. We're very excited about it. Great. And how long have you been working on it? On this game, we've been on it all oh, about, about a year and a half now. About a year and a half. Yeah. Well, why don't you go ahead and show us. Oh, go okay. keep. Actually, why don't you put your microphone a little further in front of your mouth? Like little, that? There like you that? go. Okay. Yep. Can you hear okay? Great. Everyone's been talking about how deep the game is and that there's a lot more. You know, it's just incredibly well-rounded, more than they expected. Yeah, we're, we really, that was our goal from the beginning was to just kind of surprise people with, you know, what, what are we going to do next with, with the game? I think everybody expects the natural progression of enhancing the fighting engine, adding features, you know, trying to make it, uh, you know, a, a deeper fighter experience. And we did that first. But then since this is the second generation, the second game on this generation of consoles, our goal was to really make the game do something dramatic in terms of content and actually have people go, oh, I didn't think they'd put in a board game, a puzzle game, you know, a single-player adventure mode. It, just all of that stuff kind of compiled into one. A lot of the comments we get are, you know, you should have done the puzzle game as its own game on a Game Boy Advance or something <laughs> like that. And, you know, it's really... Um, it's pretty exciting that they would uh, have that kind of reaction. Now, are these things that you've thought about doing with the MK series all along, or is this no? New? It, just after the the last uh, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance did really well, and we were, you know, you, you get into kind of like a, a sequelitis thing where you know, well, what are you going to do? Why why are people going to want to play the new one? And we, we didn't feel like you know just enhancing the fighting engine was enough of a uh, of a reason. So. We did do some really exciting things with our fighting engine in terms of like the roles that the backgrounds play. That was our big, our big attempt was to make the backgrounds as influential to the outcome of the fight as the characters that were chosen. And you know, we, we feel like we've really gotten that. And you know, our backgrounds are each one is a memorable experience. You know, you throw somebody into a meat grinder, you throw somebody off a cliff, you throw somebody off a building, and all of those. Um, are kind of combined to make the fighting experience as uh, novel um, and a new experience as uh, we can from the last game, but then go that extra mile and all the content. It must be fun to sit around and think about new ways to throw people off buildings and yeah, you know, things that just when, haven't been done before. Yeah, when you have, you have like 30 people on the team, everybody's... Every day you hear new ideas for fatalities and different things. So and all I, the developers really bring their personality to the oh game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It shows their true, their true inner self. Would you say that the, every background in the game has some sort of way to die? You know, like the Sky Temple, if you knock someone off twice, then uh, they'll you know, basically explode when they hit the bottom yeah. and spikes and stuff. Does yeah. every single background have something like that? Or? Yes, every single one. Um, you know, there, there are positives and, web and, and negatives scattered all throughout the backgrounds. I just knock somebody off here onto the spike. Um, each, each background, we really want people to you know, kind of have a different... Um, strategy based on what they're playing so this background which is uh, that we're playing right now is it's a collapsing cliff as you're playing the game it's constantly shrinking so you're really going to be paranoid about you know if your back is up against the wall because you don't know at any point in time the background may collapse and you just find yourself falling off the cliff you could have been winning the round and all of a sudden it's over a lot more unpredictable matches happen in this game than, than any of the uh, previous Mortal Kombat's. Do you find that that's something that really that uh, moving to a console format has really allowed you to do. It seems like that would be kind of a, a jip in the arcade oh, if someone yeah. just got killed immediately. Absolutely, so. we wouldn't have we wouldn't have dared try this in the yeah. arcade because if you had you know if you're winning the round and somebody comes around turns it off, we obviously we we're going to have an option to turn off the feature if oh. it's going to be something like in a in a tournament um, tournament mode or something. Mm. But we we definitely wanted with the consoles to do stuff that we would never have even thought of. In the uh, in the arcades, and that that's that's one of the big ones. I've always really wanted to, you know, have a uh, uh, a dramatic change of events. You know, yeah. suddenly you're winning, suddenly you've lost the game. <laughs> now you talked about a lot that you've added to this game, but what are the MK staples, in your opinion, that you really wanted to carry over? You know, um, uh, one big thing that we've heard from the last game was everybody wanted two fatalities. You know, two fatalities were good. They really wanted to have 
um, more of the kind of signature Mortal Kombat stuff. And and so that was the first order of business for us. We said we have to get two fatalities. And then we say, okay, let's go on an extra step. And so we came up with this, this move called the Harry Carry move where you can basically, instead of killing your opponent, you break your own neck or you break your own leg or something or you tear out your own heart or something <laughs> something insane like that. The and, honorable out. Right, exactly. And um, so it's, it's you know, we, we've kind of added that on top of it. And that's kind of like, you know, the whole Mortal Kombat. You know, we've really, this game is a lot more focused on special moves. We're going to have a lot more, you know, projectiles and teleports per character than, than in the previous games. And in addition to that, we're trying to educate the, average, the, the the casual gamer into some of the nuances that fighting games that some of the more sophisticated gamers uh, take for granted, you know, and that's like, you know, opportunities for, you know, when you dodge somebody, counters and uh, reversals and all that, and then that's what we, these fight state indicators that we have on top of the power bars, they reveal kind of these windows, and um, we're going to... You know that's going to be a lot more of a uh, of a like the nuances that I think will bring it up uh, to the casual gamer a little bit more uh, more clear. I think they'll, they'll get into the, the whole fighting mechanics a little. So more. basically, they won't have to sit there and examine frame data, go exactly. through all the weird stuff that exactly that, yeah. some of some of the stuff that is very common in our vocabulary yeah. is going to be. We're trying to introduce that to the more casual gamer who just kind of bangs on buttons and sees cool. all that. Right. I noticed Scorpion. Now, uh, who are the old characters that'll return, and who are the new characters the, that you're talking about? In terms of the character roster, we've really focused in on Mortal Kombat two and three. All the all the characters that haven't had um, an appearance in a few games: mm-hmm. uh, Nightwolf, Sindel, Baraka, Melina. All of the kind of favorites. Everybody kind of has like you know warm fuzzy feelings when they first play those characters, right. and we're kind of bringing them into the 3D mold, you know, for the first time. And a lot of uh, a lot of their 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 signature moves from those older games are kind of translating into the new newer uh, Mortal Kombat's. So we're pretty excited about that. Very cool. And then even like some of the characters that were in Deadly Alliance are getting some of their old moves back, right? I noticed yeah. uh, Scorpion had the teleport punch. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, yeah, Sub-Zero. a, a big addition. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Sub-Zero and Scorpion, some of the moves that they didn't have in Deadly Alliance, we're bringing them all back. Cool. We're having the, um, you know, try to, any any character that we're bringing back, we're, get, we're, we're our goal is to give them at least every every single sin- signature move from the last game, um, and, uh, and then some. Cool. So tell us more about the uh, the board games. The yeah, the that's chess. The, the 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 board game is really like our our goal was just to have like kind of like a higher level strategy for for the game. You know, as as you start the game here, you can see it's you can build a team or load a team. There are different classes of pieces, just like in chess. Mm-hmm. We have our pawn, our queen, um, uh, our king, the bishop, and we ta- we call them the leader, the champion, the sorcerer, the shifter, and the grunt. And so you basically say, okay, which Mortal Kombat character do I want to be my leader? I'll say it's Ermac. Which which one do I want to be my champion? I'll say it's Scorpion. Nightwolf's going to be the Sorcerer. Raichu will be the Shifter. And Sub-Zero will be the Grunt. And then you basically play this board game. And when you try to take a, a square from your opponent, you play Mortal Kombat to determine who's going to take that square. There are different... Um, different variables that change as you're playing the, uh, the, the the board game where it's kind of like, okay, I'm going to have a lot more power because I was playing my queen piece against you. It's against your pawn, so you start out with half a power bar. I have a whole power bar. Oh. There are magic squares that you occupy that also enhance um, your, your ability. There are spells you can cast. I mean, it, it, it really is like this intricate board game, but with the basic mechanic of Mortal Kombat being the determining factor as uh-huh. to which who is going to um, get the, uh, the square. And now you progress uh, through the game the way you would a game of chess. The rook moves in only one direction, the ca- you know, and so yeah, forth. We have different moving um, rules, so to speak. Okay. Um, like some pieces can move much further. Other, other pieces can barely move at all. And um, it, it's, it's kind of a combination of a piece's moving ability and its fighting ability mm. that determines its strength. Um, you notice right here that the the computer is doing killing one of my pieces. That's one of the moves that you can you, one of the s- uh, spells that you can cast is to kill your opponent's piece. Another one is to resurrect. So I can bring up my spell list here, and I can say, okay, I'm going to resurrect the grunt piece that the that they just killed, and that's kind of like the the counter to the killing piece. Nice. And uh, it's it's kind of like the be- the the managing of those spells 
when to use them, when to save them, when to use them later, and then the, the final goal is being to, to kill your opponent's king piece, and you win the game. All these modes, the board game, the puzzle game, the fighting game, are all online, Xbox and PS2. Awesome. Yeah. So now, and then in the chess mode, additionally, you're kind of bringing back some of the... Uh the old backgrounds kind of in a new 3D form, right? Exactly. Uh, every every background in the in the chess game is uh, MK2 or MK1 background uh, in, brought up in 3D. So you cool. see some of your favorites, the portal, the, the one with the monks, we're going to have the, the pit and all oh, that stuff yeah. in on the board games as a... Uh, a nostalgic, and even awesome. plays the songs, the music that was playing oh, during, wow. those, during those uh, games back there. Right. So uh, w- what sort of options are you going to offer as far as uh, online play is concerned? Do you just uh, play against another person? Are you going to keep scoreboards and ranks and that sort of thing? You know, the, um, we really, I think when you first think of a fighting game and you think of, uh, the first thing you think of is tournaments, yep. and I think we really wanted to, uh, our, our initial goal was to get all the tournaments in, but then when we came up with all these modes of play, everybody said, you've got to have the puzzle game playing online. Yeah. You have to have it, and you've got to have the board game playing online, because everybody wants to, that experience. So we opted towards just getting those modes of play online, and probably, you know, imagine the next MP7 or something like that, we'd get um, the whole tournament structure going. And, uh, cool. This background is actually from MK, uh, MK1, and Baraka, obviously, is from uh, Mortal Kombat 2. One of the basic mechanics we brought back that everybody's been uh, asking for is the, the basic uppercut. So, you know, you have this ducking and the, the big power move nice. that we had from... Uh, so a lot of like the basic mechanics we're bringing back in terms of uh, the, uh, the Mortal Kombat signature moves. Mm. And then how about the, the combo structure? I know... Uh Style change combos were kind of a big part of the combo system in Deadly Alliance. Are yeah. those back? Have those been expanded at all? Yeah, you know what? Um, we've we've uh, the modification we made to Deception was really along the lines of, uh, of balancing that out. You know, uh-huh. if somebody had a uh, was really good with someone and had like you know the seven, eight, nine hit combos yeah. sequence, the victim was basically just kind of watched as he got beat up. <laughs> we actually um, are adding. Um, breakers basically and the way to break out of a combo cool. that will will kind of balance the whole thing out it, the, the the mechanic won't be as heavily weighed on mm. memorizing of, of of combinations you could still use those but they won't be as dominant in terms of the the final outcome of the battle oh, i might actually have a fighting chance against gersman now <laughs> i will see yeah we'll see <laughs> So what aspect of the game are you most excited about? You know, um, I think in general, um, I'm most excited about the fact that we're putting all this stuff in, into one one game. Um, you know, the whole the whole notion of making, you know, making the, all these items. You know, when, when you present the game, so you're playing the puzzle game here, it's its, it's own menu. It has its own uh, kind of like feel and, and, and experience to the game. We really wanted to make it feel like, you know, you, you've bought three products, four products in there, and uh, all of it is kind of comprised to make Mortal Kombat. Our goal, you know, our long-term goal is uh-huh. to make Mortal Kombat not people that's just, oh, that's a fighting game. You know, we're, we're going to be doing future adventure games at Mortal Kombat. We're going to be doing other fighting games, all these different kinds of um, classes of games, mm-hmm. but, you know, with the name Mortal Kombat on it. That's kind of our goal, and I kind of feel like this is the first step to doing that, you know, so people will kind of go, oh, we have this have this cool puzzle game. It's more. It just happens to be Mortal Kombat. It, it seems like kind of a natural progression in a lot of ways because I mean, the the Mortal Kombat series has always had such a, a rich mythology behind it, and the and the backstory has really been something yeah. that uh, you could draw in a lot of different ways. Yeah, yeah. we're we're pr- we're pretty excited about you know just how how people's you know they're just not expecting us to kind of do something like this yeah. with uh, with a fighting game. Everybody kind of thinks of okay, fighting games they. They add combos, they yeah. change the characters, they yeah. do that, and it's a little bit more uh, less expected that we would do something like along the lines of this. Yeah. Well, I think everybody who's followed Mortal Kombat through the various incarnations will be really happy to see, you know, a good core Mortal Kombat game with a lot of new additions, but what they loved about it to begin with. Yeah. You know, yeah, you're really maintaining it and growing it at the same time. That's not easy. People try to do that all the time. No, you know, that's and that's one of the things that we're we're actually most kind of proud of is the fact that, you know, when we were doing Mortal Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat 2, it was kind of like, you know, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. 
and yeah. it was like the 2D, and I, I really kind of consider that as a different era. It was the 2D gameplay. Uh, it, was, it was a lot simpler. It was a lot more, I think in some ways it was a lot more accessible. Um, and uh, now, you know, we're still... You know, make we're still, you know, doing really well with Mortal Kombat, and we're in a completely different era now. We're we're we're, we're playing with you know the Tekkens and the Virtua Fighters, and 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 that's it's it's like I feel like that whole 2D stuff was like a different lifetime ago. You yeah, know, and uh, seems like it. It was it was a great experience, and I really you know I really miss the arcades and all that. But now it's just a, it's such a completely different animal designing these games for a console. It's not a home. Or it's not an arcade experience anymore. Yeah. Well, what do you think about the new uh, portable systems out there? It seems like there could be a, a rebirth of 2D. I know Capcom is planning some uh, some 2D games uh, for the PSP and stuff like that. Do you ever think, uh, you know, maybe it might be time for an all-new MK game that's go back to 2D and revisit yeah, that sort of thing? You yeah. know what? Um, I was really surprised how much interest there is in the... Um Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3 in the arcade treasures. You know, people yeah. are really freaking out about that. You know, I'd love to see, you know, like Mortal Kombat 2 online. I'd love to me. Yeah. I'd love in some context. I'd love to get that happening, you know, and with the whole tournament structure and a virtual yeah, like, arcade online and all that. I think that would be a really exciting thing. So a lot of that stuff is really kind of giving people a lot of ideas. What can we do with you know this? Because I I'd love it if there was a 2D Mortal Kombat line and a 3D Mortal Kombat line. You know, right. kind of each having their own direction. There are things you can do with 2D that you can't really do with 3D and yeah. vice versa. Cool. Now in the puzzle combat, uh, you have the attacks as well. Yeah, like. there's there's a uh, you know the the one thing cool we've added with the the puzzle game here is is the, the introduction of super moves into mm -hmm. the uh, into the mix. I don't think you know people just kind of think of oh you know let's let me just get up. combos let's, and yeah, do all that stuff like right. that. But now we've actually added the ability to 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 perform a move that will actually you know dump crap on your opponent's uh, puzzle or cool. s help your puzzle mm -hmm. and uh, that plays into the strategy of which character are you going to actually pick there's a real reason to pick a character and there's mm -hmm. a different uh, different mechanics that are involved with the different uh, fighting styles there's actually fatalities that happen at the end of the round nice. you, know, you shove somebody into a into a grinder or they get smashed by a one ton <laughs> uh, boulder or what have you it's uh, pretty, uh, pretty fun seeing all that stuff happen we uh, would expect nothing less right Oh, here we go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so will each character have their own uh, fatality and own special move in in the puzzle? The combat? fatalities are more like like background fatalities. Okay. But they uh, they do have their own like special moves that you can do, and cool. you can actually we're going to have button com secret button combinations to do different fatalities and oh, all that. Oh wow! So so we're going to try to hide a lot of stuff there. Yeah. And finally, the the uh, the online thing is you know obviously something we're really excited about. Just yeah, that whole definitely. experience of. Um, Testing your skills against people that you you've never met before, right. you know, and uh, with the uh, Game Spy on PS2 and Xbox Live or the Xbox. Will the PS2 version have uh, headset support for voice chat? Yes, right now we're uh, we awesome. really want to give that trash talking uh, yeah, ability. That's to, the, you know the the arcade scene being as, yeah. as dormant as it is that exactly. I've been missing a lot of that lately. Yeah. So. Yeah. Jeff's not getting enough in his daily life. So. No. In my daily, shove people against a pinball machine. <laughs> right, or into the dive. grinder. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and so we're looking at October release, right? Yes, October okay. 2004. Great. Well, Ed, thank you so much for your time. Thank it's you. All right. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay, everyone at home viewing this and everyone in the audience, stick around. We have more interviews coming up, more giveaways, trivia, you name it. We'll be back soon.